Welcome to our video on Venn diagrams. Today, we're tackling a question that many R users encounter. How can you define the color of the intersection in a Venn diagram? Let's explore this intriguing challenge together. Our viewer has been experimenting with the Venn diagram package in R, but is struggling to achieve the desired look for their diagrams. They want the intersection of two sets to be red, but changing the colors leads to unexpected results. Let's take a closer look at their code and the issue at hand. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through a question, going through those answers, and hopefully it leads to your solution. Remember, stay a little bit crazy, just like me, to get through to your resolution. Now let's get started. To define the color of the intersection in a Venn diagram using R, we will utilize the Venn diagram package. First, let's load the package and create our sets. Next, we will create a basic Venn diagram. However, we want to customize the colors to highlight the intersection. Let's start with a simple diagram. Now to change the intersection color to red, we need to specify the fill colors correctly. Instead of changing both sets to red, we will use a different approach. To achieve the desired effect, we will use the fill argument to specify three colors, one for each set and one for the intersection. This way, we can ensure that only the intersection is red. Finally, let's visualize the result. This will give us a Venn diagram where only the intersection is colored red, just as we wanted. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To define the color of intersections in a Venn diagram, you can use the Euler R package. It's quite simple. This code allows you to customize the colors of the sets and their intersections easily. For more details, you can check out the visual example linked in the description. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.